Jake here. I'm actually refilming a video to show people several quick and easy ways to get obsidian where you want it without a diamond pickaxe. And they're all really quick. So I figured I'd cover them all. I'm going to start with basic lava molding, which all you need is these are ordinary iron buckets. Some of them are filled with lava. One is filled with water. And the way you do lava molding is you make a frame out of dirt and whatever surrounding the area you want your obsidian in. In this case, uh, bedrock, because I've dug down to the bedrock here. And you place your lava. And then you grab your water and you pour water on it. Now if you're lagging really bad because you're filming a video, <laughs> it may be a little harder to pick up the water afterwards, but no worries there, I'll still be able to grab it, no problem. Um, another method which, like I said, I'm lagging pretty hard so it might be a little more difficult than usual, is you can actually place the bucket anywhere next to where you want lava. And then just sneak up on it, place the lava down. There's actually no risk that's going to burn you because the lava instantly turns into obsidian that way. Right. I'm going to go pick up some more lava quick and then I'm going to show you guys how to do scaffolding, which is for really large scale projects. And just so you can see what I'm talking about, this is what I've been working on with my obsidian scaffolding. Even though the lag will be even worse for a couple seconds, I'll turn up the render distance to fire so you can see what I've been up to. And I'm going to let this wall render. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I've been working on. I'm going to make an obsidian tower from the bedrock to the very top of the map. And it should be really interesting looking and fun, but it will take me a while. Let's, I need to really get on that. Alright, so I'm going to grab some more lava and head up to my scaffolding to show you how that works. Hey, Cake again. I'm actually having to refilm because my microphone cut out for some reason. But no worries. I figured before I head it back up to my scaffolding I'd show you all how I gather lava. Which is... I take my iron buckets. Hold shift always hold shift near lava and I scoop up lava and with the way the fluid mechanics work fake lava starts flowing in you can't pick up so I'll just fill that with dirt and that will let me know where there's still lava because like I said the fake lava it's kinda hard to tell the difference if the regular lava is flowing and this way I can just use this to gather a lot of lava at once without risking falling in as much and without having to guess where the real lava is. Alright, I'm going to head up to my scaffolding again. Here we are up top in the scaffolding. As you can see, I've built this two away from where we want the obsidian because we will need the water one away and I put this nice little dirt frame around here because it's easy to knock down and it keeps it nice and contained and easy to work with and once you're done with this little section you can just knock it down make it over there it takes no time at all. Right, heading down we want to get enough out of the waterfall that we can still breathe so we're definitely still in the waterfall because that's the best area for working with obsidian. What you do is you just hit space and go like that. You can do it just as fast as the old method. Um, actually what just happened there was a little bit because of lag and I'm having some trouble controlling this but also because of the change that happened in the patch that makes the old method a bit a bit less reliable. Alright, with the old method, which if you check out the video, which I've linked to here and made private otherwise because it's funny, but I don't want anyone searching and finding it and accidentally killing themselves. 
Um, when you're inside a solid block, you didn't get kicked out. So you could just sit here, pour, and then jump. Or what I did was just hold down the jump bar and throw them down as quick as I could. Now you have to very carefully jump and toss it. Because if you're off, and this will probably kill me, but it's random which direction you go, it'll toss you. And when you're working with something this big and you take serious fall damage, like um, that, it's going to kill you. I do actually have a bed down there because I figured while I was demonstrating that it might toss me through the air. <laughs> but that's pretty much how you do it. It saves a lot of time, a lot of effort. I'm lagging a little bit now um, showing you guys this, so I'm going to stop. I'm going to clear out all the lava pools I have down there under that dirt. And when we come back, I'll show you how far I've gotten. This is the epic slime battle to end all epic slime battles. I have no idea what is going on here. I noticed there were a bunch of slimes off in the side caverns. Um, I have a confession. I got a little carried away working on the tower. And I've been at it for hours. And um, for those who don't know, there's a radius where creatures will spawn in, but not despawn. I'm pretty sure this cave complex is pretty much exactly that far away from my pit. And because everything's so well lit up, the only thing that can spawn is slimes. <laughs> I've actually been in here a little bit fighting them. I figured I'd start recording. For those who may not have seen this many slimes in one place before. Oh, this kind of sucks. Cause I've been thinking about building a um, a mob farm, which are these things that you set up for uh, mobs to spawn in that will take them down a channel of water or whatever and, and kill them and drop their loot for you. Which is really great for dynamite. Well, it's great for gunpowder to make TNT with. It's great for arrows. If you ever need spider silk, or thread or whatever it's called. It's good for that though. And past a certain point you usually don't need it. But th those are really really cool and I thought to myself, hey I'll clear out all these caves I'll make one. I'm thinking sooner or later these slimes are gonna end up uh, just... there'll be too many of them for other creatures to spawn if I stay in this place for too long at once. Because apparently they like to stick around. This is fun though. Uh, and I've been at this forever and I'm only down to half life. These guys are kind of pathetic sad. The first time I ever saw a slime and kicked my butt, but... Honestly all you need is your fist out and hold down the button and you'll knock them away fast enough that they won't have a chance to hit you. Oh! Oh! Skeleton! Skeleton! No! 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 Where did you come from? No! Don't help the slimes! Don't help the slimes! <laughs> oh! Oh. oh yeah. Cake is a badass. Hey again. It's been a couple of seconds for you guys and a bit longer for me. I think you can probably guess that this is more obsidian than I could get from the lava just in this pit. I went a little bit into the surrounding areas. I got a little carried away, but uh I'm about a quarter of the way done now, which is pretty cool. You can see I actually went out of my way to make sure the bottom level here was finished at least a little bit. I'm just going to keep going up until the next level is done and the next and the next. Because I want, uh, I didn't want this just to be a huge boring wall all the way to the top and then have nothing here but the exposed wall. I want to really 
start to work on it, get the stairs going, make it really nice looking for y'all. Uh, the trees down here are not permanent. They are temporary. I am demolishing that floating house up there which has my tree farm next to it. So this will go straight up to the sky. And I really need the wood though. I need a whole bunch of different kinds of wood. So I started this down here and as soon as I get the wood I need and start my new storage area and tree farm, this will all be gone. I'm going to make something really amazing in the center. And from both of these doors, this new one, which is quite happy, blue wool with glowstone above where you can see it, which gives a really nice glowy lighting effect at night. And the angry one way over here, which you saw earlier this video, I think. They're both going to have something cool behind them. The stairs are going to go up around to storage room and a laboratory. And I'm I have so much stuff I want to do. I wish I could just spend 24/7 on this, knock out these videos because I I've been thinking of this really cool stuff. I did testing to make sure I could do it. I can do it. But it all takes so much work to set up. I'm really looking forward to showing it all to you guys. All right, I'm going to cut out go to, to short viewing distance so it's not quite as laggy and I'm going to show you guys what I've been up to upstairs before I end the video. This is Cake. One last thing. I did say in my last no longer publicly searchable because it's horribly awkward video that I was going to make a working automatically resetting itself day night redstone clock and this is the basic mechanism that will make that happen. This is something I invented myself. It's called an every so often minecart redstone logic machine. I'm horrible at thinking of name things by the way. I'm gonna call this the adventures of cake one day, cake labs another day, cake quest another day because I'm a dork and I won't even remember what I said the week before. <laughs> Um, as you can see though, as long as the carts are both going around, which they keep doing as long as something hits this every 30 seconds, it stays on that torch, which is the It's Nighttime Torch. The other one is it's the It's Daytime Torch. The way we make this work, and if any advanced user manages to do this before I finish my tutorials that I want to do to keep this accessible, and broken down and easy for everyone no matter what their skill level please set it as a video response and shoot me a link because I really do want to see what all people do with this and how they make it because it's really messy right now and it's not as good as it's gonna be but this is a basic concept and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some great stuff with this I hope all we need is a volunteer to keep this going and um since we want the volunteer to be the kind that only shows up at night, I'm going to go out and search for him just as soon as the sun sets. Hey friend, I think we found our volunteer. And remember, even lagging horribly, even on hard, Cake is a badass. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs>